On this week's video, we go over Martin House's bubblegum eyes. Can looks wild and what's inside is just as wild. We go over our first controversial topic, the runner that got banned from the Olympics, running, yes, and smoking weed, who knew? Uh, a metal song that I listened to today that got me through squats. And next week we have a professional, our first professional come in to go over appearance of beer, flavor of beer. So join us for that as well next week. But this week's a good one. Enjoy. ago mm -hmm. and I was kind of blown away by what it is now we've done Martin House by the way this is a Martin House brewing company beer and it's bubblegum yes lactose sour yes now we had the what was it the apple lactose sour mm -hmm. and we both kind of agreed like incredible whatever you're doing keep going keep doing it but I don't want a whole six pack of it I'll have one or you know some it's like a party gag gift or like a yes this is definitely like, holy yeah, shit yeah. bring that out you know and try it yeah like i guess like a fine whiskey that you have you don't want to drink the whole bottle at one sitting so you just have one it's like a i don't know what they call them like a uh, after dinner drink the real sweet fuck because you have yeah. just one and that's it yeah yeah and it's so it's a sour and it's bubble gum mm -hmm. i'm I've never seen it poured out. I know nothing about it. The other one was green as hell when we poured it out. It looked like sewage water. And I'm expecting this to come out blue or pink. I don't know. I guess bubblegum is pink. Ain't but one way to find out. I'll let you crack it. It's 5.2. So, not bad. Uh, can for our appearance, because now appearance is not what the beer looks like, but the can itself is a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, there we go. 10 out of 10, starting right out of the gate with as high as you can go. Before I even sat down, I gave the can a 10 out of 10. I mean, I wasn't even waiting for y'all. I went ahead and <laughs> said it's a 10, so. Saving time for yeah. us. Yeah. That's a couple weeks in a row there, bud, of uh, me just pulling like a savage amateur horse. <laughs> Who's the new guy at the party? Alright. Alright. So the color is like a pinkish hue, huh? Yeah, so Even it's the bubble's got a little... It's not as pink as the can. I was expecting this shit to come out like a dark, crazy... Yeah, if you remember, the green was a more or a lighter color, like yeah. a creamy, like a milkish. It looked milky. Yeah. So this one doesn't look milky, right. I, which was what I was expecting. Yeah. So it smells like a sour, yes. but it smells like it's got bubble gum in it. Which I am digging the smell. So, smell test. I'll go eight. I'm not blown away, but it's, it's interesting. It's definitely a sour. Yeah, that's a sour. The smell, I can't smell too much of the bubble gum, tell you the truth. Holy shit. For those obviously not here in the room, that's a very interesting beer. And not in a bad way. This is out. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad at all. Like it doesn't make you pucker up like a fucking uh a yeah. sour here or nothing, but it's definitely no. you could definitely taste. I mean, I, the sour part wasn't worrying me, it was the fact that there's a fucking bubble gum monster on the goddamn can. So I was, yeah, who, who comes up with these combinations? Martin House, they're in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. They do some crazy shit. I mean, if we follow them on Instagram, they're a fun follow, they're very active. They do the pickle beer, which I think is what they're most known, but they've got all sorts of shit. I mean, yeah. look them up, it's fun, their cans are all fun. Um, yeah, this is, this is above and beyond interesting. The more on the back end, I find uh, the bubblegum flavor comes out more on the back end. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm. Taste. I'm going to go with the 25. 
this is not incredible, but I get what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I got it. I have to respect the game to, to go for it. They swung at, like, a really gnarly pitch, and they've connected. But, what we'll get to it is we get through drinkability and aftertaste. So as we're letting aftertaste go through, I wanted to, we've never done anything controversial on this show. Uh oh. Other than drink four loco. Uh, the lady popped for weed uh -huh. and can't run in the Olympics. Richardson or something? I'm I, I don't, honestly, I don't know the name. Uh, it's, it was a little different. Like it was felt when I was reading through it, blue through it. But, Holy shit, you train your entire life. I mean, how long has she probably been running for? I don't know. She's 16 years yeah, longer? She's probably, what, in the early 20s? Yeah. In college? No. Yep. And no more. I, I'll go out and say it. I don't smoke weed. It's not my thing. I have zero problem with it. Mm -hmm. Legalize the shit. Get it at every corner store if you want. Put it right next to the beer. I don't give a shit. I cannot believe that that's why she's not running, but in, but you knew the rules. Yeah. So that's all, I mean, it sucks. So. Dumb rule. It was not a smart decision though to smoke it. You could see it. both sides. Yes. I totally agree. If yes. you want to smoke your weed, smoke your weed. Fuck yeah. But if your profession doesn't allow you to do it, or in her case, go which, to the best. Which is most of America. That's right. She was gonna compete at the best stage in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I don't know, but if I'm a bet man, they put out what a banned substance is. Oh, everybody knew that. And that was her personal decision to do yeah. that. So Which sucks. Hey. That tip off to her though, she owned it. She did not, she did she didn't blame anyone else. She didn't blame yeah. a tainted a substance like the steroid. Yeah. Oh, I was drinking a protein That's shake. A bad pee. Yeah, well, dude, there's been some gnarly excuses from people about how they got steroids in their system from other people, even. Uh, yeah, but man, we got we got we got to get past this marijuana shit. Like this, this shit's so fucking dumb to me. Like I said, this. this any, I, I think anybody could do it. Anybody should legally be able to do it. Yeah. But if your profession don't allow it, yeah. you, yeah. you're stuck on the Well, you signed up for it. That's yeah, right. You signed yeah. up to be an Olympic athlete. Yeah. Just chill out, baby. Because what happened when uh, Phelps, when he popped it? If I remember the, the pizza or whatever. Yeah, if I, well, they found that he didn't pop it. They just found a photo of him with a bong or some shit. I don't uh, even think he popped. But they suspended him. It wasn't the timing though of when the Olympics oh, were off season. Yeah, okay. but he lost like Spots. probably millions yeah. of dollars. So he paid his price. Yeah, I saw a lot of things on like, well, he and she, you know, color and male, female. I saw oh, it, oh, but I mean, there's justified. We can. There's more to. It's a very big yeah. subject with not a with a very broad big answer. But it wasn't the same. Right. He. It, it was off season, if I remember right. We have to look that up. We don't have a Jamie here to check the fucking stats. Uh, but I believe it wasn't right. It wasn't close. But he was suspended for like, I think a while. It like was a decent time. And then he lost a lot of sponsors. When you so. start hitting people in a pocketbook, that's when they wake up. Yeah. Looks, I mean, shit. But I mean, to not be able to fucking run in the Olympics. And she, I think she's a record set. Hey. Like, the chick's a record set. So it was a big loss for the United States. It's a big loss yeah. for us. Um, yeah. Disappointing. Um, Before we move on, yeah. yeah. Today's sponsor, brought to y'all by Pringles, still the best chip. Today's flavor we have is cheddar cheese. Have you tried these? I, I'm just gonna say no, I haven't. <laughs> Cause I always say yes, and today we're gonna mix it up. <laughs> Man, look at the color on those things. They spray Man. them down with like a gun. Leave them open. I bet you know they're good when you leave them open. I bet as they're moving down the assembly line, somebody just shooting cheddar cheese just going all over the place. You I know? don't think it's like shaped like a minigun and they're mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Well, now that I got the flavor of the beer out of my mouth, <laughs> we need to go over aftertaste and drinkability. Mm -hmm. Let's 
So my taste score, I left it a little low because I'm going to give it a high aftertaste. Okay. I think the aftertaste is better. Correct. Because that's when the bubble gum really comes out. Uh-huh. So I left a few points off of the taste because I really didn't taste too much bubble gum until the aftertaste. So the aftertaste, I'm going to give it a solid 18 out of 20. Hey, there you go. Now, I'm having to suspend my bias to like wanting IPA or a different type of beer. Mm -hmm. I have to realize this is, we're drinking this for what it is. It's not being compared to anything else. Uh -huh. So we're going by our standards. I have to admit, I wouldn't buy this beer. One, it's a novelty beer, I'll drink one. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want a lot of those. So for my drinkability wise, it's gonna be low. But as far as that aftertaste, yes, very high. It's, they do a great job. Mm -hmm. It's just, I like chocolate cake, I don't want the whole damn cake. One, one piece and you go. Yeah, and I don't like rich, if it's rich, I can only have so much, and this is rich. It's yeah. very one dimensional beer. This is something that, I guess if you're a huge fucking fan of bubble gum and sours, this is right up your alley. I think if it's if you're a huge sour fan, this mm -hmm. is right up your alley. But man, I'm only drinking one. Yeah. I'm not drinking a bunch of them. So like you say, it is a novelty beer. Yeah. And our drinkability goes by how much we would drink out of, say, the six pack. And I'm only drinking one. So the drinkability for me, I'll weigh it and just say 10 out of 30. I would go even lower because it's only one, but it is good. Yeah. I expect it. Aftertaste, yes, will be high. I'm going to go 15 out of 20. Yeah. I agree with the drinkability. Yeah, I mean, it's... I can't Maybe believe I made 65. it. 65. I still like the uh, Jurassic Park quote. You were too busy trying to, to do it to wonder if you should. <laughs> That's kind of what I got here. It's, uh, I'm not sure you should have went and, and did it. Yeah, it's a 67, which is kind of low on my totem pole, but I come out with a 65. It's only because I don't want a bubblegum sour, not because it's not good. I, I get it. Um, things we can go over. Let's look up. Oh, we're only 12 minutes in. I heard a new uh, sort of squat in the day. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, I had a little lull. We went down and some stuff. Strength kind of went down. I was a little overworked, whatever. Uh, and then I'm coming out of this hole. And today, I'm looking at you. Look, I was looking for a new song. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's still pointing, guys. Um, I was looking for a new song and I found, a buddy sent me this this morning and he goes, this is for your squats, this is my coworker. Mm -hmm. uh, the band's called The Browning. Yeah, interesting. And it's, the song was Carnage and it was actually really damn good. And so I was uh, trying to figure out what style they were. Because I like listening to metal and stuff. But it started out metal, then went into like a dubstep, then went into a rap. But like a metal rap, not uh -huh. like full blown rap. And then it had these deep bass drives. It was like a soup of everything, like just coming together and forming. So I had to know them. which way to go. I, I had no idea. It was really good, and all their album art is badass. All their albums, yeah. so it was worth it. So listen to that song while you squat. It'll get you through living. I ended up, I guess, PRing a set of eight for my last set. I did a three twenty five, and I'm spitting. 325 for a set of eight, but my last set, so mm -hmm. that was good. It got me through it. Uh, I'm ready to go down to sets of sixes, I think. Yeah. I'm getting close. But I hate going down when I'm starting to, up. Yeah, yeah, because if I'm getting stronger than I'm not, and I'm not plateauing, then I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. My lifting seems to be a lot different than most uh, Most people. Do a, do a heavy set of three and then do 80% of that, Man, I don't know, like I'm trying to get fucking numbers every day, which I don't know if that's going to play out in the long end, but I feel it great will. about doing it. It will. I go into that goddamn gym every Saturday for squats, just like, she even gets the world. Fuck these squats. Like, I'm just mad at them. And that song today, I haven't felt that in a while. I, look, I heard the part in it, the song drop, and I turned around and looked at that bar, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this feeling. And I just monstered it. Last week you spotted me for 315 for my last set. 
And uh, man, I was hurting. And I, for me to roar up with it, I need, definitely needed no spotter today. Mm -hmm. So the max is going up. We're gonna hit over four plates this year. I didn't have Coach B, PB to work out with today, so I was flying solo. I didn't know what to do. So I was just bouncing around, just doing random shit. You followed me with calves. <laughs> we did, me <laughs> up in the calf machine. I'm about to make a post. That fucking machine's broken. My calves don't grow. <laughs> they don't grow. And it's because that machine's broken, Frank. What? 100% is that That's fucking the machine That's the only machine in broken. Alpha believe is broken. <laughs> they need to fix it. <laughs> need to, I need to get on their Instagram or start a writer, write a review on their actual like fucking page. Look, man, Jim's great. Music's actually horrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you got your headphones. But the fucking cap machine is broken. Doesn't Every work. single one of them, y'all. Yeah, throw them yeah, away and buy new Fucking junk. <laughs> man, I just need to get on some testosterone or something. Just... What are you here for? I can't get my fucking calves to grow. Like, Doc, can you give me anything for them? I get anything. Like, my arms have always been small, but I, they're slowly growing because I haven't. I started doing curls uh, once I left CrossFit. So they're getting bigger. I can see some growth in them. Calves? Not a chance. They, they're just hanging out. Not of, a chance. They haven't even started climbing the mountain yet. They're still at base camp, not even at the middle of the mountain. They're still way the fuck at the bottom, and the rest of my body's looking down like, hey man, this I'm is a sad this. thing. It's a sad, sad, sad thing. I couldn't imagine being a bodybuilder and having really small calves. That's gotta be a bitch. They got people that make a great career with a little bit of calves in bodybuilder. And I hear them say that they've got a little bit of calves, but they don't really. I've never seen anybody with calves like mine. They're not, they're, get the fuck out of Those aren't little. The judges don't even look at calves. Yeah. I like those judges. I should probably befriend a few of them. Um, so I guess we can go over what we're going to do next week. we got a few minutes. Uh, I think we're going to have Sean. Mm -hmm. For those that don't know him, he's one, our lifting buddy, good friend. Uh, he's with Spindle Tap Brewery. Uh, you and I, honestly, we were talking before, appearance on here is supposed to be like what the beer looks like. We were like, we have no fucking idea what, how to grade that. So we're going to just grade the cans. Mm -hmm. That's you and I's little monkey brains. Mm -hmm. That's Damn. how we're fucking doing it. It's going by cans. Mm -hmm. um, but he's actually going to come in and sit right here and talk to us about what we should be looking for. And then if I know we're going to like, I think it's going to be very informal. And we're just going to have him, I guess, once a month come on and talk about smell, taste. Obviously, we'll bullshit, but we're mm -hmm. actually going to start having a once a month professional one maybe? I don't know what to call Somebody it. Somebody that knows a lot more about beer than we do. I mean, I feel like we're just drinking it, banging on our chest, and then just like, all right, that was it. Well, that is fun though. I'm excited to have him on. Uh, you know, we've talked about it for a long time since we started doing these. And uh, I'm excited to have him on and bring something to the table so we can learn. Because I've read about it, but it's nice to have somebody here mm -hmm you know, like hands on teaching us what to look. And I think he's going to find it. We haven't drink, but one spindle tap beer, uh, the Urkel, which is probably the best. Um, what is it? Bach. I think it's a Bach. I want to say it's a Bach, but it's the best one that I think I've ever had of that genre of beer. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, but we stayed away from their beer because we were Purposely. hoping he would come on uh, and talk about it and bring some. So I think he's going to bring us some in. So you and I won't, we're not going to know what he's bringing. Obviously, it's going to be a juicy New England style IPA, uh, and we'll banter about that. Mm -hmm. um, but we got to rang him in and make sure he don't tell us how to do all of them in one yeah. video, because that video is going to be way too long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try to keep it 30 minutes. Just We try and do these in, what, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. But if y'all can't see, obviously, there's a timer right under the camera, so I, that's why I glance up. They might think I got like a, a crooked eye, but I'm glancing up to check the clock. But yeah, I'm really excited to have them come in, and um, it'll be an informative one, instead of just a lot of bullshitting that we do, yeah. uh, and I'm excited about that. Yep. But that's all I got. Legalized marijuana, so the fucking runners don't get... Disqualified for the Olympics, too. My heavy band, it don't matter. Yeah, they, they legalize it all over the world. If the organization says it's a banned substance, yeah, because I'm sure a certain amounts of caffeine and all this other shit. Yeah, well, what I'm most excited about, and we won't go deep into this because this we're we got in right now, is that uh, trans woman, 
Say that for I told her different fucking up, so. Yeah, but I, I'm excited. I hope she blows out every fucking record there is. Like, I want to see her, like, I'm talking about beat everything by Destroy like 100 everybody. fucking kilos. Mm -hmm. Just murder it. I really want to see it just to see how the world reacts. And then you can have a decent conversation because now we have data. That's what I'm ready for. Yes. I won't say whatever side or anything because I'm not on the side. But uh, I really, I'm excited to see where that situation goes. Gosh, but that's all I got. Well, I'm almost done with my beer, guys. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Yep. Next week, we uh, have a highly educational video. I feel like I need Still to come in. Bullshit, I want to come in with business attire on, like, come in with suit. nicer clothes. <laughs>